Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Kicking Bass TV. Today, we're up in Loveland just doing a little bit of multi-species fishing. Later on this afternoon, we're gonna be heading over to see our friends over at Shields to pick up some gear for the 2021 ice fishing season, some of which we'll be doing some video reviews on for you guys in the next couple of weeks. While we're up here, getting into some late fall bass, getting into those uh, early winter patterns. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna see how you can get entered to uh, win a Shields gift card and a bunch of stuff that they gave us to give away to one lucky winner. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's go. All right, guys, today we're starting off up north in Fort Collins at a small pond where we had some success a few weeks ago. Still throwing those bait fish profiles, spinner baits, blade baits, underspins, lipless cranks. Those have been the number one producers as of late because we've got a warmer than usual fall here in Colorado. And what that means is that those bass are still gonna be pretty active, aggressively feeding up for the winter and having still not had consistently low enough temps to have that thermocline begin to mix and push them into those early wintering patterns. The moving bite is where you'll find the most success, just like we did right here. Now, if you live in another part of the country, like the north or northeastern area, you're already well ahead of us. It's colder where you're at. You may be in a full swing of your winter patterns and you aren't having any success. Don't get discouraged because it generally gets a lot easier, especially when you're talking about smaller bodies of water. A pond like this where they don't have a lot of areas like coves or fingers, structure or cover for them to pull to, they generally tend to just seek out the deepest water in the pond, which usually tends to be in the center. So slow things down, switch up to those finesse baits, those craws, those shaky heads, those jigs, and take your time, pick it apart, and you'll find them. With this next one, we had a lot more water clarity at this particular lake, so we decided to switch to a more natural presentation. Instead of throwing that big, larger profile, flashy, double-bladed spinner bait, we downsized to the 4.3 dead ringer swim bait with a four-aught hook and a small BMC underspin blade. Now, what that's gonna do is still give us a little bit of flash to stick out in those groups of bait fish that they're feeding on. Sure enough, about 50 feet off the left side of this ledge, favoring the deeper end of this lake, we got another bass feeding aggressive on some sort of bait fish. Now, that tells me two things, that they are, number one, just as aggressive here as they are up north where we started this morning in Fort Collins, and number two, that this profile we've put together must be close to matching something in the hats that they're feeding on. Until you get into those really frigid winter conditions where they get super lethargic and slow down, it really is that easy sometimes, so just keep it simple. After that, we stopped off at Shields to pick up some gear that we're gonna be reviewing for the 2021 ice season. We've got a ton of tournaments coming up this year as well as our new guide service that we're gonna be offering. While we were there, our friends at Shields were kind enough to give us a gift card, awesome swag pack to give away at the end of the week. So make sure you watch the end of the video to see how you can get entered to win that awesome prize pack from Shields. In the meantime, we stopped off at Golden Ponds in Longmont on the way home. Let's throw those artificial waxies a little bobber line, see if we can get into some panfish and maybe some trout hanging out in this brush line right in front of us here. Thank you. 
As you can see, we ended up getting into a couple of trout, a bluegill, we caught a nice sunfish here, had some awesome color on them. After getting a couple of pics of those guys, threw them all back and had a nice, fun, multi-species day here at fall time in Colorado. It's starting to get colder, which means those winter patterns are right around the corner. We are gonna be touching on that in detail in our fall to winter transition video in about a week or so. But until then, just wanted to show you guys that because of the warmer trend that we've had this year, this fall, they're still active. You can get out there. Don't get discouraged. You can catch them. You just have to be willing to experiment with some baits in different areas in the water column. On this last one here, we're throwing that same profile with that underspin blade that we had success on this morning up in Loveland. And sure enough, because we know that they feed on perch here in this rocky area and the fact that they've drawn a particularly large amount of water out of this lake this year, that we have them pressed up against the structure in the left side by that measuring stick that you can see to the left of your screen. And this guy absolutely hammered this swim bait as I was coming through that area. So even despite the fact that this guy seemed to be suffering from some bacterial issues and was partially blind, if not completely blind in his left eye, which you'll see here in a moment, this guy had no problem finding this bait, came out aggressive and hammered it. So get out there, try some things out, experiment with some new baits. If you have some questions, you can always hit me up, leave a comment in the comment section down below or hit us up on Instagram or on our Facebook page. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because that's the best way to show your support. And if you want to get entered into the Shields giveaway, go to the Instagram page, Kicking Bass TV official. Look for this post right here. Follow the rules in the entry. And we're going to be picking a winner on Friday, 1126. All you have to do is follow those three rules. And until next time, I'm D with Kicking Bass TV. Subscribe!